Okay, for a second part of this video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the differences between data tags and label legends and how I think data tags are a lot more useful. Um, for this example, this is a New Year's Eve show that I worked on last year uh, where I made extensive use of data tags. Um, so first, there's three main things. First thing that I think is much more useful about data tags is they can be used on any object, not just lights. Uh, any really any symbol in Vectorworks, uh, you can attach a data tag to it. Um, so you can see here all my lang devices, I have data tags attached to them. If I go over to my rigging layer, again, I have data tags attached to all of my motors. It's the same exact thing, just a different data tag. Um, the second thing that I find much more useful about um, data tags is how they it's much more easier to manipulate the orientation of them than a label legend. Um, for example, this guy here, I don't know why, but he's sideways. So I'm gonna rotate it just like any other object. And there my data tag is. Um, it's not a separate, unlike a label legend, it's the exact same data tag. Um, say I do wanna rotate it 90 degrees for some reason. Uh, rotate, boom, there it is. Uh, that easy to manipulate the orientation. Um, again, it's the same data tag. Uh, the same thing applies to using data tags in uh, three dimensions. Um, in this drawing, uh, there are some very large vertical towers that I have drawing. And again, rather than using a separate 3D label legends that's has been very buggy um, for quite a while now. Again, this is the same exact data tag as the one I'm using up here is now being used in 3D right here. Same exact thing. Again, uh, if I wanted to change the orientation on it, again, I just rotate it like any normal object. It's uh, nothing special, uh, just that easy. Um, so that's the second reason why I think data tags are great because they're so easy to manipulate the orientation. Uh, the third reason that I really think data tags are useful is you can use them in viewports just the same as you would use them in design layers. Like for example, suppose I don't want to clutter up my design layer with a bunch of data tags everywhere. Um, so I'm going to go into a viewport and uh, this viewport's going to be a detail of this uh, central uh, structure behind the DJ. Um, then let's choose the top plan view here. And I'm going to go in and edit the annotations uh, just as I normally would. Edit annotations. Um, I'm delete these dimensions that I have currently in here. And instead, I'm going to add some data tags. Same thing, just like you normally would, uh, go into your dimensions and notes tools, select data tags, then choose the data tag that you want to use and just drop them in. And now these data tags are living in the viewport instead of living on your design layer. Uh, and that's going to wrap up the data tag video uh, for today. Uh, if you found it useful, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, uh, please leave a comment below and I will do my best to respond. Thank you.